What is up YouTube? It's your boy Johnny A. I'm back at you guys with another video today. Hope you guys guys are all doing good today on this Wednesday. Today I'm gonna go over my acorns portfolio, I'm gonna show you guys my crypto portfolios, I'm uh, gonna show you guys my 401k and how that's doing as well, and my savings account to show you guys how everything is progressing. So today was payday for me, so obviously when I get paid, I always like to put money in my savings and my investments. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I did for today. So I'm gonna start off with SoFi and show you guys the crypto portfolio on here. Um, now keep in mind, I only have Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin in SoFi. So um, I only got three positions in the crypto market with SoFi. So you can see the portfolio has gone down to $6,404. In the past week, it's been down almost 500. In the past month, it's been down almost 700. The six months, up $321. Year to date, up 1980 The one year is up 712 Max, it's down $273. So um, you can see here, uh, my total returns are at minus 273 my contributions are going up. Obviously, I'm dollar cost averaging into these plays here. Uh, you can see at $6,676, my Litecoin position currently is down $2.23. Um, I did put $5 in here earlier. Ethereum, I threw $5 in there earlier as well. You can see I'm down $286 total return. Today's return up $79. So up to up 2.61 percent and bitcoin i threw in i want to say uh, let's check here real quick we can actually look uh trading at twenty six thousand at the time of recording i threw in ten dollars earlier of bitcoin so i'm um, today's return i'm up 51 dollars and total return i'm down 273 so i'm dollar cost averaging into all of these three plays as you guys can see here and i'm holding them for the next bull run which in my prediction will be next year heading into 2025 so not financial advice just my opinion so please do your own research on that um so yeah that's where that is at with the crypto portfolio with sofi and with coinbase i have one thousand four hundred and thirty seven dollars in the coinbase portfolio up sixty eight dollars in the past day and you can see my positions here chain link at 399 algorand at 258 um stella lumens 212 i'm down 41 dollars shiba inu i'm down 255 solana is at 151 my my current positions cardano at 136 Polkadot at $70 and Decentraland at $12.32. So these are my positions so far. I don't know why it's not showing me how much I'm down on each play right now. But let's see if I can show you guys here real quick. Um, doesn't look like it wants to load up right now for some weird reason. But majority of these plays right now I'm down in. As you guys can see, majority of them are in the red still. So things are still pretty bearish at the moment. Could be turning around uh, in the next couple of months ahead. But we will have to wait and see, guys. We got to be patient. Buy while everything is low, in my opinion. Dollar cost average your way into some of these crypto positions. And hold for the long term. So... That's where the Coinbase portfolio is at, $1,437. Now let's head on to Acorns. I'll show you guys that real quick. I threw $10 in here earlier in the Invest and Latest account. Uh, you can see the value is at $40,301. The core account is at $36,745, up $9,923 all time. For the day, it's up $438. In the past month, it's been down 1,271. Year to date, up 6,139. In the one year chart, up 3,985. The five year chart, up 9,896. 
and a lot of my investments are majority still in the green uh, the international company stocks is down 2.84 percent so here's my breakdown stocks is at 35,000 the Bitcoin ETF at 1,679 so let's show you guys my recent activity so I threw in ten dollars in earlier which you guys will see here on the screen uh, I had a couple roundup investments reoccurring investments uh, eBay reward all going in there and obviously my dividends for the Bitcoin ETF hit on August 8th at $45.75 so that's in there already and that's mainly where the core account stands so I'm gonna show you guys the latest account at 3556 of $454.14 all time and you can see here uh, same thing kind of the only thing down is the international company stocks the USD bond the US aggregate bond are down and you can see I'm at 2837 in stocks and $718 in bonds so that's where the latest account and I threw in $10 in there as well earlier so that should be in there in the next couple of days so I'm gonna go on to so $40,000 is in the acorns account now next I'm gonna show you guys my Robinhood portfolio now this is my dividend investing portfolio with realty income um, the Robinhood portfolio is at 855 so you can see now I have nine shares nine and a couple fractional shares of realty income my market value is at 538 average cost at $61.14 my total return at minus $37 today's return at plus $7.77 so that's currently where I'm at with realty income obviously I'm, bu I'm buying more to pick up more dividends every month and you can see the last dividend I received was one dollar and 75 cents which was on August 15 so we'll see how September's dividend looks might be a little higher than that depending on um, unless realty income changes their uh, dividend yield so we don't know about that I don't know about that yet at least but that's where uh, realty income stands in my portfolio Obviously, all these other plays that I have in here are all penny stocks, which I took a huge hit on trying to chase uh, money the quick way, which I thought was the best way when I was learning about stocks. But obviously, it's, hit, it's, it's been pretty rough with the penny stocks, and I'm not touching any of those plays until I make my money back. Maybe in like the next, I don't know how many years, but I'm going to hold on to them in the, mean, in the meanwhile. Um... But anyways, 855 is where the Robinhood portfolio stands. Um, now I'm going to show you guys my 401k real quick. I took a screenshot of it to show you guys. So you can see the 401k with Voya Financial. This is from my job. Current balance at $42,574 as of August 22nd, 2023. Personal rate of return year to date 16.21%. So I can't complain, like I said in one of my past videos, having a 401k is great to have if your company matches it. Uh, my company matches, uh, I believe, 4% of what I put in. And uh, obviously, it's been paying off in the long run, as you guys can see $42,000 in there. So that's where that's at. Now, with the Yada Savings account. I have $2,947. Keep in mind, this is an emergency fund that I have. I put it into Yala just in case I could win a couple more, couple more bucks with the ticket prizes that they have every night. So uh, I've been putting money here every paycheck or whenever I get the chance to. And now I do have 117 tickets to play for every drawing every night. Obviously, that goes up every time you put $25 or more so my winnings you can see the last seven days I've won 59 cents all time I won $39 and 30 cents so not bad for a savings account and you could use it to uh, play around with the lotto tickets and win prizes up to a million dollars as you guys can see here if you match 
All six numbers on any of your tickets, you win $1 million. Uh, five numbers, you win $20,000. 4 numbers and the, the last lucky number, you win $2,000. Four, four numbers, 1,000, and as you guys can see, so on. So majority of the nights, I went two cents, three cents, you know, nine cents, depending on how, how all my tickets do. So it, it eventually adds up every time you win. So that's the way I'm seeing it. But either way, guys, great app to have. Yada, check out the link in the description below. You sign up using my link. We both get free tickets to play every night. Well, just for the general... For just a one-time uh, sign-up bonus, you get, I believe, a couple tickets to play for that for that drawing on that specific day. So definitely check that out, guys. My link is in the description below, as well as for Acoins, Coinbase, Robinhood, SoFi, all great apps to have for saving and investing. So that's all I have for you guys today. So obviously things are still not where we would like them to be, but. You know, patience is a virtue, guys, and I promise you in the long run, especially when it comes to investments, even in your savings, if you keep on adding just whatever, $10, $50, $100 a month, over time, these things can compound and grow, and, uh, you know, eventually, you would, you're, you're going to see the results in the long run. So definitely be patient, and you'll see the results. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you guys, uh, you know, appreciate what I'm putting out for you guys. If you guys are interested in any of this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like the video, leave me your uh, likes, uh, your comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. The links are in the description below. I appreciate all of you guys. God bless you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.